something has come over me today and I feel the need to make this video immediately right now. <laughs> I've got no makeup on. My hair is so greasy. I'm waiting for my Bumble and Bumble Sunday shampoo to arrive. Fun fact, did you know you can buy it in a litre bottle? I did not know. I bought it directly from the Bumble and Bumble website. Sorry, I'm on a creaky floorboard here. I'm literally waiting for it to arrive so I can, I can wash my hair. It's a Sunday. I never record on a Sunday, um, but it's quite a slow Sunday. I feel like me and Mark are leaning in to not doing like back to back to back to back plans and just being like, what does a slow Sunday look like with a toddler? And it looks like me baking blueberry muffins with Ralph. I've just got them out of the oven. And then Mark's just in the garden with him, just pottering around. So the boy's pottering around. I'll go join them in a bit. But I was like, I am really excited <laughs> to film a makeup collection. I mean, how old school do we want to get? Like that's basically like, what's my handbag level of old school YouTube. But I recently had a clear out. I'm looking at it all. I haven't owned this amount of makeup since kind of pre my content creation days, to be honest with you. Um, I did have a day when it would all fit in the, oh my gosh, the Benefit. I think it was called the Benefit Lana makeup bag. Who remembers that? I'll put a photo of it on the screen right now. If you remember that, that is old school. <laughs> Once upon a time, all of my makeup fitted in there. But since content creation, blogging, YouTube, the lot, it has kind of grown and grown and grown and grown and ballooned probably when I was living, I'd say like the London, <laughs> if you remember the London flat, that was like, I had a whole drawer. I had like basically a whole case full of every single nail polish color. Like I was, I was trying to get basically every matte neutral eyeshadow from MAC. Like there was a lot of makeup. But I so said since then, it's gradually and gradually decreased. Sorry, I'm still on a wobbly floorboard. Since then it's decreased little by little by little. And I'm looking at it now and I'm like, this feels like the least amount of makeup that I've owned in a very long time. Obviously I still do what I do. This is still more makeup than like anyone needs. Ultimately we only have one face, but I thought I would talk you through it and kind of share with you the things. Like, if, if something doesn't exist here, it's not because I don't like it. It's probably because it was just a bit expired. It got old. And with everything that's going on on my face right now, I didn't really want to be putting expired, potentially makeup onto my face, you know? And there are a few things that I'm like, oh, I've got rid of that. But actually I want to, I want to repurchase it in a different color or anyway, we'll explain that when we get to it. And um, I thought I'd talk you through my everyday makeup first. I mean, maybe there's a little everyday makeup spring update video to have. The makeup bag itself is from Space and K, and then I'll kind of talk you through each category I'm using. Foundation wise, the Ilia Super Serum Skin Tint in ST6. You guys recommended this to me. We're like, Anna, it's really good for sensitive skin. When you're breaking out, your skin's freaking out. You're right, I completely forgot about this. Um, but yeah, this one is just a good. I might just put a little bit on now because I feel like I'm going to look back at this video and be like, girl, you could have you could have just put on a little bit of base, you know? You don't need a lot of this. And even though my skin is kind of having a moment, I still don't want to put a shed load of products on it. I still quite like it to look like skin. So this just evens out without actually adding too much coverage. So we've got that. Um, also from Ilia, their True Skin Concealer. This is in the shade, oh goodness, 1.75 Burdock. Really lovely, like hydrating coverage, I would call this. So very much into that duo at the moment. But I've also got Glossier Stretch in Light too, just for under my eyes. I feel like it brightens really well. Then for cheeks, I'm so close to running out of this actually. The Victoria Beckham Contour Stylus in Travertine. I think they finally got this back into stock, which is a good thing because I've barely got any of that left. Um, and then the Makeup by Mario Soft Sculpt Transforming Skin Enhancer. I use the shade like medium. I've got a new one. I went through one of these. That's everything for complexion. I just apply it with the Westman Atelier Blender Brush and also the Beauty Pie um, Pro Contour Angled Cheek. I just use that for, <laughs> just see if there's any leftover bronzer on that. For eyes, I've got the, the Armani. This is like the old version. This is the old, what was it? Like 22 or whatever it was. Currently using the old version or just like nothing to be honest with you or this little palette, which I think I've remembered is MAC Tete Tete, MAC Sober, MAC Uninterrupted, and then this one is Anastasia Beverly Hills in Caramel. A few of those are like discontinued. I mean, there's a million eyeshadows these days. I'm sure there are good dupes for these, but this is like my own little personal um, MAC palette that I bought ages ago, and I just can't get rid of these shadows. And I'm kind of pleased that I never did because I'm really enjoying um, using them at the moment, and I just apply 
basically any eye product. Oh my gosh, is this the only eyeshadow brush that I own right now? I think it is. I had a real purge of the makeup brushes. I was just like, why am I holding on to all of these? I was kind of holding on to them just for like, oh, but what if my friends want me to do their makeup on their wedding day? All my friends are married now. Do you know what I mean? Like, I'm not gonna be called up on anymore. Like, we're, we're done. Um, so I was like, you know what? I can basically do everything that I want with this Makeup by Mario EF2 brush. So eyes with that. Oh, and the um, the Lancome Missy Big waterproof eyeshadow back into that. And I just brush it through the spoolie. Loving the new Anastasia Brow Freeze, but in the gel form. I put this in my brows today. This is like, if I can't do anything, if I didn't, didn't have time to do anything, which I didn't, um, this morning, I literally will put this in, I'll curl my eyelashes and I'll apply the Summer Fridays Lip Butter and Pink Sugar. And I'm like, that's it, right, we're good to go. Um, I put that little spoolie in there and then I picked up this, I think for a selfridges job of like a, ooh, like Christmas, what would I love to be on my Christmas list? And it's the, the Hermes Rosy Lip Enhancer in the shade Rose Tan. I just really, really love these products. They're so expensive. It's definitely like a put on your birthday list, put on your Christmas list. They're not necessary, but they are a really lovely matte balm that just imparts like, look at that, just like, just a little bit, just a little bit of color. I, you'll see later, I, I do really love this product. <laughs> okay, so that's everything that's in the everyday makeup bag and that fits very easily back into here. I've been using this since the summer and I'll say this is a really good way of me keeping my number one everyday stash, my, it's just easy to grab, like I can grab it, I can do my makeup in here in a different room or downstairs in the kitchen, whatever. Um, so it makes it very easy, but also keeps it very edited. And then I just sort of swap things around as I wanna change my base or my eyeshadows or my lip product. I'll just swap things in every couple of weeks you know the deal. I'll show you now what my makeup looks like in situ in the drawer. I'll put like a little photo here. We just have an Ikea drawer in our bathroom and I've kind of used the dividers to divide up like skincare, makeup, um, a little section for Mark. Um, so this just lives in the makeup section and then these little drawers um, are just from Amazon, um, come in really handy and I've just done one for base, done one for concealer, done one for lips, like very easy to find everything in here. It can actually be split right down the middle that the bottom half is all base and the top half are, oh, it's, I know cheeks kind of are in the middle, but the most of the top half is eyes and lips. Um, so let's go through these. Guys, this, this is all of my foundation. Like, you know me, I, I love foundation. It's like my number one makeup love. I love a tinted moisturizer to be more precise these days. As you will see, there is one thing that is missing from here that I need to add back in. Um, as I said about brushes earlier, I, I've only kept the brushes that I have in here because it got to the point that I was just like, I never use them. I'm like, or I'm using them once and then I'm putting them away. I'm not washing them before I put them away. It's a bit unhygienic. I don't know, it's like another task to do. Um, so I have kept this. This is a Hakuhodo brush. And I saw this like a famous makeup artist that I follow is Mary something or on TikTok. And she just like raves about this brush and I bought it on eBay. It cost me an absolute fortune. I don't actually don't love it. I find it too, it's like too movable. I prefer my bristles and my brush to be a little bit harder um but i can't bear to part with this because it costs me so much money and i just know there's certain products here i guess for like more of my powder products or cheap products this will actually be quite handy for and then westman atelier sent me their christmas set that had like mini brushes in it and there was a mini of the brush that i use every day and i was like i just i i, I can't put that in my giveaway pile it's a brush i use every day it's so soft it'd be great for the two times a year that i do travel um i just i just couldn't get rid of this i was like i use this every day so is it good to have two you don't need to but i just couldn't get rid of it um talking of bases i, I got rid of my glossier um future do i'm tempted to repurchase that it, it was just the point i looked at it and i was like i think this has been in my makeup bag for like years at this point and it's something that goes all over my face but that is definitely on my question mark do i repurchase I did keep this though, the Beauty Pie All in Wonder Illuminating Primer because they've discontinued this. I need to have a word with Beauty Pie because I really, really love this product. This to me was what I always want, the Charlotte Tilbury, it's called like the Hollywood Flawless Filter, that I have probably bought and then given away maybe like three or four times because I always, like so many people use it, so many people love it. And I use it and I like, like it for a bit and then I'm like, makes it look a bit like Tin Man. I don't know, I just like never really fully got on with that product. But this, 
is what I want that product to be. So I hope that it's just taking a little break. They're bringing it back in more shades. That would be really great. That would be like music to my ears. I hope so. So I couldn't get rid of this for that reason. But I did pass on the Beauty Pie Tinted Moisturiser. Again, just because I was like, oh, that's something I've had in my kit for a long time question mark repurchase. I'll probably like use up what I've got, but I do really like that. I've kept the Beauty Pie Super Luminous Skin Genius. This kind of sits with everything. I mean, everything I've got here is basically a tinted moisturizer. This sits on the like lower end of that spectrum, a little bit more like the Glossier Skin Tint, but a little more, you know? I like having this for those very sheer days. Then I guess if we're gonna go like one level up from that, we've got the Westman Atelier Complexion Drops. Um, I use Atelier 4, I think that is. I actually find these really greasy, but I can't get rid of them. It's like when I think about getting rid of them, I'm like, oh, but what if I'm having a really dry skin day? Um, so yeah, I find these, like I like the coverage of these, very like in the middle tinted moisturizer base. Find this a little bit, oh my gosh, this video is so long already. <gasps> okay, I'll make it quick. <laughs> I like it. Summer Friday's Sheer Skin Tint, I use this in the shade three. I think this is quite similar to the NARS Tint Moisturizer, which is probably one of my favorite, like all time favorite bases. Um, this, however, is a little bit more, this is more creamy. This is a bit more watery. Um, then I've got the MAC, I mean, I'm so close to finishing this. The Face and Body, I use this in the shade two. Love, like, love, love this product. Two that you won't see here, the Glossier Stretch Foundation. I think I, despite, <laughs> despite trying so many different shades, I still don't think I found my perfect, perfect one. I think what I had, I think I'd kept like M2 and I was just like, oh no, this, this is like a way to, in the summer, deep into my self tan era shade. And I stupidly gave away the lighter shade. So I need to repurchase that in a lighter shade because I really like that product. Same goes for the Armani Luminous Silk Foundation. I mean, I, I'm always like, I'm always gonna have some of that foundation. I don't currently have a bottle now. I was using 4.5. I think it was just maybe a little bit too pink on me. I really like having four, like four is my true color, but I also like having six, just so I can like mix in a little bit of the six with the four and kind of like use that as my kind of complexion drop to like deepen it as I so wish. So that is like on the list to rebuy. I was just like, I just am having a bit of a like chill with my spending at the moment, but that is 100% coming back in. Along with the Glossier and what was the other thing I said? The Beauty Pie. They're on kind of the like, right, they'll be back with me soon. <laughs> Concealer wise, oh, Concealer I've only got three. Um, I mean, I've got the NARS. This is like the Lumen, the light reflecting eye brightener. This is in the shade Golden Eye. Very good for just literally going like boom, boom, when you just need a little bit of brightening in that space. I just didn't have, oh, I've got lipstick on my teeth. Lovely. I didn't have anything else in my collection that was like that, hence I kept it. And the RMS Beauty Uncover Up in 11. This is like the Glossier, but with slightly more coverage, but also a little bit more drier. So I, I tend to use this more in the summer. Um, I got rid of my Dior, I really had like a Dior, what was it, like a Forever Skin, like doe foot, I can't remember what it was called actually, Perf like Skin Correct. I used the shade 2N, it was like a doe foot um, applicator. I just realized that I'd had that for a really long time and actually it was a little bit orange. I was like, I felt a bit orange every time I used it. Um, but I've still got the Cossas Revealer Concealer, this is in the shade 3W. Um, this is kind of like the Ilia in that it's quite moisturizing. A moisturizing, but like has coverage, creamy concealer. Moving on to complexion. Oh my gosh, this is small. Bronzers, I have two bronzers. Two powder bronzers, because honestly, the I use the Makeup by Mario basically every single day, but it is still nice to have two, you know, you don't need two powder bronzer options, but it is nice to have some, <laughs> or at least one. Um, this one, oh God, it's magnetized. This one is from Beauty Pie. I think this is in the shade Goldilocks. I like the tone of this one. This is like real holiday tone and it's quite warm and yellowy. So it kind of does the job of a bit of a blusher on me as well. It does a bit of everything. Um, but I also really like the Victoria Beckham one as well. I just think Victoria, I, I really like Victoria Beckham makeup. Powder, I've kept the Cossas uh, Breezy Cloud Set. I just really, whenever I use this, I'm like, I really like this product. This is what I remember the MAC um, MSF. Remember light skin finish? Um, I remember it to be, it's kind of like that, but to me, I find that a little bit too much these days, the, um, the MAC one. Very, very similar, just a little bit lighter in consistency. I use this one a lot around this area whenever I'm concealing and trying to like set it. Um, the Hourglass, this one is like the Ambient Lighting Edit Unlocked Jellyfish. 
I bought this this Christmas mainly because I just see these online all the time and get very, very influenced. I'm like, oh, I need, I need one of the blushes. I need a bronzer. I need a powder. And I was like, this just has everything I need, hourglass. So next time I'm feeling itchy for hourglass, I know that I've got this palette and everything I need in it. This one is old school. Um, the Chanel Balm Essential. It's in the shade Sculpting, which I've always thought was a really weird shade name for it because it's a highlighter. But I've used a lot of this product and ultimately I just don't use a highlighter these days really at all. I use so much skin prep. The finishes that I use in my foundations are so juicy. The finish that I use in my bronzer is juicy. I don't need more juice, but I still do quite like that. And that kind of had a viral moment recently where people were like using it on their eyes and I was like, oh, I've got that product already. So we'll keep that. Um, the Western Atelier Face Trace Contour Stick. Thankfully, they now do this in more shades than just Biscuit. Like, that was not cool. But this is a really nice contour. Again, one of those ones I see a lot online and I'm like, oh, wait, I have that. <laughs> so I'm keeping it in the stash. I mean, I've been recording for 20 minutes, but we're halfway through already. I have kept technically three eyeshadow palettes because I've kept that eyeshadow palette that I made, that little, like, MAC one. But I just have two others now i can't remember if the last time we like did this i had more i feel like i might have had more i just kept this one from nars the um the afterglow eyeshadow palette because it's got shimmers it's got like a bit of color if ever i want like that pink that orange there's options it's a nice gold like ultimately am i ever going to wear like a green shimmery eyeshadow probably not i don't need that option <laughs> but there's if i want a bit of shimmer there's a little bit of shimmer in here i feel like i can do any kind of more colorful out there looks that i want to do with that um, and then this from Makeup and Marry, the Master Mats. I'll say if you have similar tastes to me and you want to buy an eyeshadow palette, this. This does everything I could want to do if I wanted to do a deeper smoky eye, a really like kind of more pale smoky eye. There's just, it's very warm. There'll be something in there for you. Um, I've also got a relic of the past in here, the Glossier Play eye, like eye pencil sharpener. It's the best one. It's the best pencil sharpener. <laughs> beauty wise that I've used so I will always keep that um and then I've just got three oh my gosh is that it for eyeshadow that is it I've just got three single eyeshadows I've got the um the Armani one this is 20m and then I've got the Merit ones I really like Vachetta and then mid-century I bought this one myself like Vachetta they sent they that was so cool actually when Merit like launched these they had sent me Vachetta like way in advance I've been using this for quite a while but when it launched I saw mid-century and I was like oh that is a bit of me too they look quite similar on camera but they're quite different in real life Vachetta is actually quite neutral on me kind of similar to my like natural lid color whereas mid-century is like a little bit readier a little bit deeper but really love both of these two i skipped on to eyes but missed blush i mean this this used to have quite a few quite a few more blushes in to be honest with you and i was like i'm just i'm not using them there was like a powder one like oh my god the vive one in pesca like i love i love i haven't used it in donkeys so i was like you know what i'm just gonna keep the one that i use the most which is the merit flush balm in beverly hills love this one and then the makeup artist that made me want to buy the Haki Hodo brush also made me want to buy this I'm pretty sure she created this color with nude sticks sunkissed I've never used it I've never used it but I'm like that that just looks like the most perfect like I wish I was the kind of person that could go on holiday and like just take this I'm like oh, I'll just use it on my eyes I use it on my lips I use it on my cheeks um, it just seemed like a good, to be fair, it's very, it's very similar to the Flush Balm. Flush Balm a bit paler maybe. Um, so this one kind of breaks on my rules of like, I'm only keeping things that I like really use. I just wanted to keep this. I just did. This long little compartment here kind of has long things in it, quite honestly. <laughs> it's a mix of various different things that don't fit elsewhere. Um, so let's have a quick talk through them. Um, let me try and break them down. We've got kind of lips and eyes. Okay, eyebrow wise, I've got the Patrick Tarr brow gel, although I really like the Anastasia. Anastasia is my fave. Like, I'm, I'm, I think I'm gonna move over. And I've also got an Hourglass Arch um, brow pencil in Dark Brunette because I've got a hole in my brows there. And it just always looks so much better if I can be bothered to do that. Nine times out of 10, I can't, but there you go. <laughs> to prove the point, I'll throw that in. Um, yeah, did I say dark brunette? It's the micro one with like the teeny tiny nib on the on the top. It's very good. Uh, eye pencil wise, I mean, eye pencils, when was the last time I wore an eye pencil? Okay, we're talking years. We are talking years. But again, just one of those things like 
this is good to have and I will ultimately see something online that's about in fact I did see something it was a um someone online trying to find like the perfect burgundy eye pencil and I was like oh I actually have one of those and it's Victoria Beckham in Bordeaux Victoria Beckham eye pencils are my fave they're creamy they set down nice just very easy to use I feel like once upon a time I would have had a ton of mascaras like oh, I'm gonna try this one lots of backups I kind of know what I like I like that long con one and I like the Armani eyes to kill wet waterproof mascara and um, so I kind of always have probably one of those as a backup I can imagine but I also really like the Merit Clean Lash especially when I've had a lash lift I don't find this is the best for well it's not bad at keeping a curl to be fair considering it's not technically waterproof it's not bad at keeping a curl but it's not the best best at keeping a curl so I like this one when I've had a lash lift and I don't need to rely on my mascara for the lift but I, it is clean I like the effect of it on the lashes so I've popped that one in lip wise I'm a summer Friday's lip balm girl I really am. I've got the new like minty one that they sent and then I repurchased the pink sugar. I think I had some um, Space and K points to use or something and I was like, oh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna grab one of these. Um, this is like one of my favorite lip products. Aside from the lip products that you'll see in a minute, like th this is my daily go-to. Yes, I've tried the Rode Beauty ones. I don't love them as much. I find them a bit like grainy and a bit sticky. I like the clear ones, but it's more of a skincare step rather than a makeup step. Um, I kept one lip pencil. I was I was gathering a few lip pencils. I had like a bit of a lip pencil moment last year um, and I was really holding on to a KKW Beauty one from like five years ago. <laughs> it was like, you know what? That's kind of gross. I don't really need that. Um, but I do really like the Makeup Forever one in 602 Completely Sepia. Like if I'm wearing a lip liner, it would be this one. I feel like it doesn't, it's not too obvious on my lips. Um, and then I really like this lip product, um, the Beauty Pie Daily Nude. This came out as part of their Christmas collection. I've already got a lip product on. But for me, it was just a, a really good daily nude. And I genuinely fed back to the team and was like, please can you bring this out? Like, please can this be separate? I would love this full size. I would love this as a range. And they were like, we'll see what we can do. Um, Cause yeah, I just think it's a really nice shade. And until I know that I could actually like replenish this um not that i'm like saving it for best but i'm just being a little bit um restrained with how i use it okay lip products we have eight lip products i love how i'm doing this like look at me and my eight lip products and probably like anna i've got two <laughs> i've got one <laughs> but i really tried to narrow this down because ultimately most days i'm wearing the summer fridays lip balm i do not need to keep a million different lip products so i show you what i have kept like I said, I've got that Beauty Pie lipstick. I've obviously got the um, Makeup Forever lip pencil. Um, I'm trying to think what I got rid of here. Actually, I'm not sure I got rid of that many lip products. I think I've always been quite good at like editing down and condensing it to what I am like genuinely using. Um, this is new. We'll talk about that in a minute. Um, I kept, it's a lot of merit to be honest with you. I really love merit um, lip products. I've kept Baby. Oh, maybe I'll swatch them. Baby is... It's kind of like, ro I don't want to say rosy brown because I don't actually like love rosy brown, but it's kind of very similar to my natural lip color, to be honest with you. Millennial's a little bit more of a mauve, I guess. Baby's a little bit more pink. And then I also kept a pair of teeth. Like they do a great red lip. Mm. Merit know how to do a good red lip. This was limited edition, maybe two years ago. This is like my favorite red lip. It's kind of, it's quite a true red. Oh, it's so good. I love it. So I kept that. And then the rest of them aren't actually lipsticks. That's like all of the lipsticks that I have. Baby Millennial Aperitif. Then I kept uh, Jeté, the lip oil. Again, just one of them. It's one of those products that I see like pop up online. I'm like, mm, I've got it in my, I've got it, I've got it in my drawer. It's all cool. Um, but just, I didn't really have any lip oil as well until this one came along but I didn't really have a lip oil so I was like it's kind of nice to have something in that category when I want it to be a little bit more glossy on the lips maybe and then I have kept every single color that I own of the Hermes Rosie Lip Enhancer yes they, because they're very expensive this is one of those things it, um, <laughs> how do I word this sometimes you are just going to keep things because they are expensive and they just feel nice to like keep like these are ultimately that product for me they're not something that I necessarily wear every single day but i i really like them in the summer i think they're a really nice option to have so i've got um 
Rose Confetti, they're all very similar on the lips to be honest with you, aside from the Rose Apricot one, I'd say that one does look more orangey. I've worn that one down quite a lot actually. Rose de Tete, Rose de Tete, oh gosh. I'm terrible with a French accent, but this was the first one that I've got. I've worn this one a lot as well. They're not something I'm necessarily wearing every day of the week, but like they just, they, just, like, they look nice. Oh. They're really satisfying to look at. They feel nice on the lips. It feels like a very barely there product, which I'm into. And then this is new. Kind of when new stuff comes in, I feel like I just know straight away whether it's something that I'm gonna use or I'm not. And if it's something that I'm not gonna use, I'll put it in my giveaway pile. Either it goes to friends and family or money gets raised for charity. Always for local causes. At the moment, it's Sussex Homeless Shelter. So that's great. Everything goes to a good home. It's all good. Nothing is getting wasted. Um, I, so I kind of know. If it's something that I'm like, ooh, I think this is kind of cool or it's something that I'm going to use or it feels like something new or quite honestly if it's a foundation I just feel like I have to try every foundation <laughs> ever in the world I feel like I need that encyclopedic knowledge then I will keep it and nine times out of ten I'll put it into the everyday bag just so it's something that I remember know that it's there actually remember to use on a daily basis but sometimes I might be like oh that's probably more of a summer product or something I don't particularly want to use right at this moment that's a long-winded way of saying the summer Fridays tinted lip oil is currently in here um um, not that I don't love it or want to use it. I just feel like this is probably more of a summer product for me. This is in the shade Blush Dreams. I will say with these, 4.5 mil. Oh, that's 7 mil. Okay, that's really interesting. I was like, oh, these feel like they've got a lot of product in it. Mm, it's an illusion. This one is 4.5 mil. This one from Merit is 7 mil. So there's a lot of packaging that has gone into this um, and not necessarily a lot of products. That's very interesting. I will say a lot of product comes out on the doe foot. Like if I just take it out without, that is a lot of product. You do not need that much product. That much product on my lips is like too much, too opaque, too slippy slidey. Um, but it is a nice, it doesn't smell. Um, it's just a nice kind of slippy, nourishing formula. I really like Summer Fridays lip products. Hence, I had to give this one a go. Right, I'm gonna wipe this off before I get it absolutely everywhere. Um, anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. This was just like a sit down, wanting to chat kind of video. And yeah, I, feel, I, I love watching these. I love seeing what people own, what like stands the test of time. Like I said, there's definitely a few, mainly foundations to be honest. Like I'd say everything else I'm kind of quite happy with. I don't really feel the need to like purchase anymore. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna miss, I miss the Glossier. I miss Armani. Beauty Pie I'm probably okay with for now because that is ultimately a tinted moisturiser, which I have ones of already. But yeah, I will get those two back into my life. But aside from that, I'm like, I think I'm good. Is this still outrageous? Give it to me honestly. <laughs> Am I gonna regret saying that? But I feel like it's a nice amount that I'm not overwhelmed by in a good way and that I can actually use things. So let me know if you enjoyed this little sit down video. I'm thinking for the weekend, I'm gonna do like a digital, like how I digitalize my wardrobe, why you might want to do it, what it's good for, who it's good for, um, how it's helped me with like my shopping habits. Um, yeah, I think I'm gonna do that for the weekend because I mentioned that. Oh, thanks for all of your lovely comments on my vlog actually. Um, that was really nice. I saw a comment on that that said, no, do the, do the digital wardrobe thing. I'm interested. So I will do that for you this weekend. And hopefully I'll just be checking in a bit more here. Like, I don't know, I kind of, I kind of miss it. I know I said last year, I was like, I'm gonna cut back. I might only do like a video every other weekend. I'd really love to do a video every Sunday here and then just like do sporadic little hello, surprise moment. So hopefully you enjoyed this little surprise moment and I will see you on Sunday with a brand new video. We're, we're back on. I missed it. Like this is, this is the true, this is the true OG here. So anyway, I hope you're having a good week. I will see you on Sunday and I'm gonna go play, play in the garden. <laughs> see you then, bye.